Hi guys, uh, today I want to talk about bivariate data um, and specifically I want to talk about a scatter plot. A scatter plot is a way of showing two uh, different measures from the same pieces of data. Um, it's tested upon in, in your end of year examination and there's um, several th things that we need to know about. Uh, we need to know about the individual data itself, the basic kind of relationship how to put a line of best fit on, how to identify any outliers, and then we need to describe any relationship in a real term. So I'm going to model this exercise on one of the previous examination questions. So the title in last year's examination was regarding the relationship, so they used the question from PPDAC, is there a relationship between height and weight? It wasn't height and weight in the exam, but I'll use it as an example. Now, let's talk about individual data. If I stand on the scales and I get measured, I will produce two measures, a height and a weight. And so my two measures go on my two axes. And for this, I'm going to make a decision that the height can go here across my x-axis. And this technically is called an explanatory variable. Try to think of this one as which of those two is the easiest to change. The easiest to change should go over here. Now it's, it's quite hard to change your height, but a little bit easier to change your weight. And if I hop on the scales and I get myself measured, I appear with my weight in kgs my weight in kgs and my height in centimeters. Okay, so that's an individual piece of data. If I'm if I'm tall and skinny, I'll be a high weight, high height, low weight. If I'm short and fat, I'll be over here, short, low height, high weight. Now, what of course happens is we don't measure one person; we measure many. So here is a whole bunch of different measures. And I can look at this and say, well, how many people did we measure on the day? And by the looks of things, I think there's around about 30, 40 individual measures. So if I just spread them out like this. Okay. This relationship here, this relationship here shows really no, no relationship. The data is scattered completely randomly. And if you thought about that, that's probably not going to be the case. That probably what we're going to have is we're going to have the data forming a more of a relationship. Probably something along these lines here. So this one here would say, who is the tallest person? There's the tallest person. They are that many centimetres high. Who is the heaviest person? This person, maybe those two, because they're the highest weight. Who is the lightest person? This one here, who also happens to be the shortest person. Right, so that is about relationships. Relationships. This one's showing a positive relationship. Negative relationship looks more like that, going down. But in reality, the taller you are, the more likely it is that you're going to weigh more. There we go. Okay, now let's do the line of best fit. Now the line of best fit is a line that lies over the top of the dots and the trick with it is it has to be anchored within the averages. So since I have 30 heights, I can find out what the average of those 30 heights is. So the mean. And since I have 30 odd weights, I can find out what the average of those weights are. So lying in the middle of my graph, somewhere around about here, is the average of my two variables. And so for these, that is where I'm going to anchor my line of best fit. So anchoring it. And I'm trying roughly to put half of the points above and half the points below. So there is my line of best fit. Now, outliers. 
Outliers are identifiable individual people, individual points of data that don't fit the trend, don't fit the relationship. So if we look here, just that and up, that one there, that individual point of data is sitting right underneath the line of best fit. It's right where I'd expect it to be. And these guys all along here are fitting pretty closely. But if I look out over here, this is an incredibly tall person who is incredibly light. This is a really skinny, tall beam pole. This person is a long way away from the line, so he is an outlier. So that's the outlier. Potentially we could make a case that these ones here potentially could be identified as outliers. This one here definitely. When you identify an outlier, give the measurements. So if the test said identify the outlier, I'd say that person was 190 centimetres tall and weighed 50 kilograms. The relationship in real terms. Radio, this is the final piece of the puzzle when we're doing these ones. What we need to do is we need to describe what is actually happening in regards to weight and height. And the way we describe it is, we say, is there a relationship between the height and weight? Answer, yes, there is. You can see that as the height gets bigger, it tends that the weight also gets bigger. Now, it's not every single time. See, this person was very tall, but they were very light. So it, it tends that as this one gets bigger, this one gets bigger. And that's how we do scatter plots by variate data.